baby. It's chapter four. The uh, the cool thing about this chapter is that it actually does sort of a like a prelude. Like this right now is not actually technically considered part of the chapter. And if you go to chapter select, it will cut out this entire sequence. This is oh. purely world building. Emphasis. Emphasis. Disappointed. <laughs> oh, it's like Metal Gear 3. You climb the ladder. Snake mm. Eater. I'm ordering. Yeah, see, you're on a ship. Yeah, see? I knew it. Good call. And what is this horrendous shit going on in the background here? Looks like they're... there's a boat, and there's shadowy figures mm -hmm. lumbering off of the ship onto whatever it is that we are currently, or have been spending all of this time on. Wow, the view is very small like to see your person yeah i'm quite small it's really doing a lot to try and show the scenery at this point yeah also the size of those silhouettes and the like depth of that plank that they're walking on that's impossible yeah they're, they're too big it'd snap i've seen a photoshop before <laughs> that's definitely a photoshop <laughs> So they kind of look like people almost. Like really short, fat people. But it looks like they're wearing masks like from We Happy Few. Or V for Vendetta. Or Anonymous. <laughs> we are 4chan. <laughs> <laughs> Moving in a very cumbersome, lumbering unison. So that's the sequence that normally you wouldn't get to see if you just chapter selected it. Huh. So the plot thickens. At this point, we know that there's a gentleman with long spaghetti arms who's dead now, whose job was to clean, uh, collect the clothing of, and maintain the uh, isolation of children. And we know that there are two horrendous chef abominations wearing skin suits who are making meat and sausages out of human beings. They're probably eating all those people then. You think that that's it? Because we're going to see. <laughs> ah, I'm, that's just my guess. But... All right, well, I mean, no, it's a good guess. Um, but believe me, it gets grimmer than that. <laughs> Don't here. believe me, just watch. If you don't believe me, please watch. Whee. You know what? Oh. Boop do So now we're getting sort of like a Japanese architecture feel to things with the uh the siding and the there's a geisha lady yeah there's nothing horrible about her looming over all of these people lumbering into what we can only presume is some sort of sea base all right maybe they're just all retired and going on vacation this does have a very lounge feel to it i say <laughs> The cotton gin. <laughs> the holly golly. Look at all that pie. A lot of pie. It's a lot of meat. It's a lot of fish. It's a lot, it's a lot of food. A lot of bullshit going on here. Yeah. Alright, because I remember less and less... He's just eating raw meat. He is eating a lot of things, you know. That's not healthy. You gotta cook your meat a little bit at least. Oh. Here we go. got stuck because it's bad. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so... Fat people. Welcome to hell. It's full of fat people. 
They're gonna try and gobble me up. Now I think if me see, I'm I'm gonna be doing a lot less of uh, uh, getting collectibles and stuff in this one because I just forget where a lot of them are at this point in the game. Oh yeah. This is the part that's less familiar to me. But essentially, what we're looking at, and I'm just gonna take a hot second to talk about it here. Um, this is like a, a very high-end, almost like bougie retreat for what is physically represented as the wealthy. They're represented because they're, quote, fat cats, as it were. So these people are coming to this place to eat and relax and consume and just eat until they burst, right? And we've seen that there's holding cells for small children downstairs. And there's chefs that specialize in preparing cumin. So we've got a bunch of fat, old, rich people eating children. So are you just a symbol for millennials? <laughs> well, uh, Six is the, the one that's going to try and make it out. Break out of the system? Exactly. I'm not gonna get turned into meat. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna let this shit fly. Also, I just mentioned that I was uh, less familiar with the collectibles in this one. However, <laughs> hey, little buddy, it's me, your best friend, the Hug Man. Hugs. <laughs> why? Why? Why you use gluttony when you can use hugs? hugs. Huh, huh, huh. Nope, there's no good portmanteau there. No. But I did leave his little area soft and safe for him. Alright, so you want to see this fucking nightmare? I'm watching it. It's only a little nightmare. Come on. Right. Fuck! Oh no! <laughs> Ugh, quadruple chins McGee there. Really? <laughs> She's a horrible monster. She's gonna eat me up. I'm mostly, I'm like a chicken wing. I'm mostly bones. <laughs> You're not going to get any meat off me. All right, let's try it again. But now I want chicken wings. Right? First things first, that's the realist. <laughs> we should get some chicken wings, Scott. Time to get some goddamn chicken wings. All right, get on up there. Actually, I mean, I've been eating pretty shitty this weekend. <laughs> like, on Friday, I was too lazy to cook, so I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna order Domino's. Fucking Christ. Oh, damn it. I got a sprint. It's got a sprint. Yeah, I saw your Snapchat. You sent me pictures of some pizza. I did, yeah. That was pretty good. And then... I wish that I had a better reason to say Domino's is awesome, other than I really like the video game that was made about their mascot that they don't have as a mascot anymore that wasn't officially licensed by them. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know it too's real good. I bet I'd eat some dominoes today. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> Maybe it was just the subliminal messaging that was delayed in me when we played it. Because mm. at that point, I'm like, you know what? Wow. Fucking Christ. I, I fucked up twice the first time I did this, but not three times. God, why do all the... Like, fat people have, like, jaundice in this game. Because they're supposed to look as horrifying as possible while still being potentially believable as a thing that might exist. Look at that. That's, uh, that's the CEO of, uh, Apple. <laughs> Microsoft and Tesla. There's Elon Musk. <laughs> nah. I, I he let like, himself go. I feel like Elon Musk is a nice guy. He's a great dude, yeah. He's a weirdo, but... You can shoot cars into space. There we go, baby! You just dodged the leader of Lululemon. <laughs> just naming brands at this point. Actually, the guy, or I don't know if he still is, but the guy who at least used to run, like, be the head of Lululemon, he looks like a fucking troll. Are you sure that wasn't um, American Apparel? Oh, maybe. I mean, yeah. it was American Apparel. And he was, like, judging people, like, oh, only good-looking people should wear our clothes. Like, dude, you look like yeah. a fucking orc. The, the guy who ran American Apparel looked like the white orc from the Hobbit movies. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one that you're thinking of. Yeah, but that's I, the yeah, one. Yeah, I totally know what you mean. It's never gonna happen for you, boys. I'm out of here. Oh fuck, they're coming for me. You alerted the horde, man. You gotta... Yeah, there's a lot of horde mentality. It's just a lot on. of uh, 
What are the ones that throw up again? The uh, boomers. Boomers. There you go. From Left for Dead. For those of you paying attention. So look at that. He kind of looks like Newell Moon from Star Wars. Mm -hmm. The jowls on him, Jesus. <laughs> bounce because he's fat. Well, I didn't actually bounce off of him, but I oh. managed to use his uh, inability to turn on a dime against him. Here we go. Oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. I forgot about this. Yeah, there's, that's bad. <laughs> oh, God, the chef's come back. Yep. Oh, right. Um, shit, 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 shit. Hide in the toilet. Uh oh. Fuck! Oh. I was supposed to hide under the sink, but I panicked. Ah, see, I told you, I remember less and less of this part of the game. Now you're getting eaten by capitalism. Mmm. Eaten by the 1%. It's a classic comedy. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Get the fucking let out, six. He's got a horrible scream, that one. Mm, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I'm nothing more than some average toilet paper. This is your friendly neighborhood toilet He's paper. He's gonna stop and take like a horrendous dump right now and make me very uncomfortable. Oh God. Could you imagine? Would be quite bad. Would not recommend. All right, so check this shit out. Boom. Oh, clever. Clever girl. All right. Do I remember where I'm heading? Not particularly. Just take the path less traveled. I don't know if that's a good, <laughs> if that's a good advice in this particular game. How many fat people do you see crawling up here? That's true. I do see a very angry chef chopping what could only presumably be one of my friends with a cleaver. Yeah, he's pretty angry. He's not thrilled. All right, there we go. And first things first, I'm the realist. <laughs> what does the Japanese geisha have to do with this though? That's what I want to know. Well, the game is Japanese. So the fact that we've got like this sort of Japanese uh, sort of uh, house aesthetic here with the sliding doors and the paper walls and everything mm -hmm. is all part of the culture of what's being referenced and the fact that the what's going to turn out very shortly hereafter to be the primary antagonist is a geisha yokai um, well let me just tell you it's all going to aesthetically make sense we probably don't have the, the proper frame of reference for a lot of it but still Oh, he's wearing a... is a Hanya mask? He kind of looks like he's wearing a Payday 2 cosplay mask. <laughs> you know. Mm-hmm. He was like, well, I'm gonna rob a bank. Uh, oh, fuck, I hate this part. Did they bust through the walls? Yep. Oh, oh my <laughs> god. Yep. It's Lots of them. A mountain of... Lots of them. Oh. Lots of them. Yep. Yep. Wow, that is... That's fucking terrifying. <laughs> fuck y'all, fuck y'all, fuck y'all, fuck y'all, fuck y'all. I hate this, I hate this so much. Make the jump! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Rest in peace, motherfucker. I guess someone's gonna have to take over the Macy's CEO board position. We got another, uh... I don't even know. <laughs> we got another brand on blast. I'm just naming brands. Mm. I have nothing against Macy's. What about Target? <laughs> Walmart. Target went out of business here. Yeah. Target no longer exists here in the Great White North. A. <laughs> Trying to be relatable. 
relatable with the kids. Mm, hip and young and cool. 